Okay, uh, guys, today we are showing you how to put on the Harbor Freight uh, uh, Solar Supply Power Kit from Harbor Freight. It retails for around $200. They have a sale price of $189. Excuse me. The retail is $250. $250. So I've done a review. Go look at the review. And before you watch this, and because this right now is showing you how to put it together. So getting into how to put it together. Take your solar panel. After you've built the frame, which is way too easy, not even going to waste our time showing you how to put it together. And uh, I don't know, I mean, maybe splice in a couple videos of when we put it together, but I doubt it. You take it, you put it on. You take your screws, and the easiest way, to, I think, to remember it is the ones with the washers go on the solar panel. So you take them. And you just got to take your little screwdriver here and clear out the hole. Right. Here you just take it like this and screw it on. Just wait guys, the screw is being stubborn again. Some of them didn't ever, or didn't go in very easily. And this is the one that didn't go in very easily. Okay, just wait, trying to get it. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's through. So we're gonna pull it up over here. We're gonna line it up. Do all this here stuff. It lines up. Gonna take all the other ones. Do this with all of them and then screw it down tight because you want to make sure you have plenty of playroom to put it all in. Okay, just clearing out the hole here. And, I mean, it goes together really, really easy. I am very, I mean, you can probably have this thing up and running in less than an hour. And so just leave your screws and washers there. I help my friend, brother. Okay, and here we go. Problem here. Okay, there we go. And, uh, there we go. And it goes all the way through. Take the next one. Undo it, set the screws and all that right beside it. You gotta just wiggle it in. Until it goes all the way through. <laughs> okay. Oh, one stepping screw, of course, right? Oh, it's kind of hard. Guess what, guys? This one screw is kind of hard. There we go. Okay, so it's fit in, and now we're just going to get it screwed down all the way. Okay. There we go. And next step, of course you get the one tough screws, right? No one. So we'll just leave that one there for now, for time's sake. Josh can try and work on it, but, okay. So we're gonna take the rest of these, and then you're gonna put your screw and your wing nut on to this, which what's really nice with them have putting on the wing nut, makes for quick on and off. Try and work on that job. So you can take it on and take it off if you need to go anywhere. This really is for those who, if you wanna say preparing or prepping, this is something they should have, but I'm not a prepper. This is just to charge like our computers and that kind of stuff. We're just going to tighten this down here just a little bit because remember we still got that other bad one that's not wanting to go in all the way, which is very annoying. So let's figure this one out. <coughs> oh, oh, okay, it goes through. Get it. So, once you get it all on, this thing weighs 
a ton. I mean, literally a ton. I don't know what they all weigh together, but I'm guessing somewhere around 45, 50 pounds. Something in that area of weight. I could give me a wing nut. I need help. Okay. This is very hard. Get on the other side and help me. Just realized something. This wing nut over here didn't come. It, a little piece fell off, so gotta put that back on. So, sweet, still trying to get it on. Okay, there we go. We got it on. Okay, we're gonna set it flat down and then we're gonna tighten it. Make sure all of your screws, bolts, or whatever are tightened down. Okay. Just go, even though you may have already checked them, just tighten them down final because your thing's probably flexed a little bit. And you just want to make sure that all's tight and all's as well. So, we got all this done, everything's tight, it's not going to go anywhere, good. Now we've got to get into our box, into our next box that has all of our stuff, that has all the electronics of this all. We're just starting to, can you guys see me, uh, pull up the video a little bit there. Not too, that's good, that's good. Not of my face, so you don't have to get my face. So here we're just pulling out all of the screws and stuff of it. Okay. So just wait, let me go check something, guys, real quick. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's just move some stuff. And stuff and all that. So I set it over. Okay, so now we've got to clean cleaner work area. Got your book. And this here, main thing you need. This is what's going to end up plugging up from this. Like, okay. Let's just do this one step at a time. Got our lights there. And we'll see. We're indoors. I want to just see exactly what happens when you plug up and you're indoors if you get anything. Highly doubt it, but Never hurts to try right. So you take your three plugs, okay? You take your three plugs, you plug into each one of these. So you don't want to go from this to this. And just make sure you're plugged in all the way. Make sure you get everyone. And there is a very good, probably you can go around, no, just leave it, just leave it. You can probably get uh, 25, 30 feet, or not 25 maybe 10 or 15 feet away with all the cord extensions you can do so i mean your extension range is pretty good okay last one obviously is not gonna go in hmm. there we go okay we got it in so here we have all three wires rung up just wait let me kind of make this a little bit nicer because it's driving me nuts uh so we got all three of them hooked up here as you can see they're plugged in very nice then you gotta take this next piece here, you gotta take that and plug this into this because this will not just plug into your box right here. It, there's nowhere for it to plug into. Zoom in a little more onto me, uh, like onto where these guys are. So you gotta take them and just wait, we're gonna zoom in to it a little more so you guys can see a little bit better. Not too much, but just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we're gonna take it here. 
So we're gonna plug in this wire here. Let me get in a little bit closer so you guys can see. Okay, good. Take this here wire, which is all four of your solar panels, plug it up to this, which plugs into your, uh, I don't know exactly what you call this thing, but your box here, your, if you wanna say, converter. So plug it up here. So it's plugged up. So now you have possibly, I mean, if you're outside, you don't have electricity running to your box here. So you don't take it and you don't look for the one that says battery, no. You don't look for the one that says solar panel. So you don't look for, it says solar panel right there. You don't look for the red, which is positive, and the negative, which is black. So just unscrew the screw, unscrew the next screw, and then put on your red wires to the red. Uh, remember which bolt you took off which. So red is obviously positive. If you forget, you can always look over here and see which it sh says red is red and negative is black and stuff like that. So then just screw that back on. Put this one here and screw it back on too. So you have pretty much all the stuff you need to get ready. And then if you had a battery, you'd plug the battery up over here. But we don't have a battery, so uh, we don't have anything. So obviously, I'm getting a little juice because the light's turning on, but I'm not getting enough to produce any amounts of electricity. But just for the fun of it, we're gonna pull out a flashlight here. And we're going to, uh, let's see, what are we gonna do? We're gonna plug this in here. Actually, let's grab out a bulb. Okay, so they do provide you with a bulb, which is very nice. It looks almost like a crash proof bulb, if you want to say. So, turn in the bulb, extremely large bulb, and then plug it in to one of two outlets here that says 12 volt. Plug it into that. So we're plugged in, turn it on, and let's just see. Nope, no juice, just what I thought. Obviously, because we're inside, it's not getting any juice, and also, we're not plugged up to a battery. So obviously, it's not going to work uh, at its full par, if you want to say. So what we're going to do, we're just going to leave it at that, and we're going to have part three in the morning, because right now it is literally, and I'm not lying, it is 12 at night, it is midnight, and I got to get up, do some stuff, and hopefully we'll have the review of this all, and uh, see exactly how much light and how much of everything it can produce in the morning because right now I gotta get to bed get some stuff done and all that but right now we know the box is working because the lights blinking as you guys can see uh, so that's really cool we know it's all working all the solar panels are working and if you want to test it and make sure they are you can unplug it here unplug each one unplug your um, splitter here so we got the splitter unplugged and then just test each one by plugging it in. And that's just if you want to make sure. And yes, it's working. So that we know it's working. It's good. All's well. And thanks for watching, guys. This has been reviews more for some reviews for you of the Harbor Freight solar panel. Um, let's just give you a shot of it all here. Uh, it's uh, kind of a mess when you do it, so make sure you have a big area. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. Be looking for part three of, yeah, I guess that'd be three of three, because there's been part one, which has been the unboxing, and what's in the box is part two, which is what you're watching right now, kind of uh, how to put it together. And then this part three, of what it does and how much electricity it gives off in the sun and stuff like that. So we'll get all to that later on in the uh, in part three and all that. But for now, guys, uh, reviews and more has to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.